Okay, so using the point cache modifier to export an animation from 3ds Max can be a bit tricky if you don't know what you're doing. Um, I'm going to go through it in this very quick tutorial. So I imagine by now you've probably already got a bit of geometry that has an animation on it that you are happy with and want to export. I've just done a really quick animation here for demonstrational purposes with the noise modifier. Go to the modifier panel and you want to go down to point cache. You want to go down to this one, not the WSM one. There you are. And you want to record your animation. Give it a name. Okay. So I'm going to call it Tut Tutorial. Okay, so that's your XML, uh, your XML file. So that should have recorded and held your animation onto this object. Okay. Now, as it stands, you can actually delete this point cache completely so that all of your animation is gone. You can apply a new point cache and you can load that file back onto it and it will bring with it all of that lovely animation data. Okay, now to export it as an FBX so that it works in other programs, this is the complicated bit, you need to go up to uh, create selection set and you want to give it a name. Okay, so you're giving this object and the selection set a name. Alright, so I'm going to call it Tut. Okie dokie. Now, you want to go to export, you want to export it as an FBX, and you want to go down to where it says point cache files. Make sure that's ticked and select the selection set. Mine's called Tut. Okay. And then you export it. Excellent. So that's gone ahead and exported. Now let's see if it has worked. So I'm just going to go with a completely new scene here. And I'm going to import that singular FBX file. And hopefully it's going to have held all of that animation beautifully. Let's have a look. Make sure the point uh, cache files is selected. And there you go. All held.